Welcome to Shortview Trading. Apologies for our absence due to coronavirus related shutdown of our offices. Without further ado though, what matters today for traders? Well, markets continue to post truly historic moves. And of course, the hyperbole is well focused on in the media and well picked up by the news outlets. But I wanted to focus today on the three stages of a crash. Stage one, panic. Stage two, relief. And stage three, demoralization. In our view, we're near the panic lows, if not already there, for three key reasons. One, it seems clear or appears that markets are trying to ba build a base. Whether you look at European equity markets on the chart I'm showing you now, over the last few sessions, they've been base building. Or you look across in Asia at the Nikkei, or indeed the ASX 200, or you look in the US at the NASDAQ or the S&P 500. Across a range of markets and across recent trading sessions, many of them are trying to build a base. And if we're correct, then a relief rally, the second phase of the crash, should begin in earnest over coming trading sessions if it hasn't already. Supporting that is the position of the models. Yes, it's true they've had buy signals for a while now. But what I would note is the buy signals today are as extreme as they've ever been pretty much. In that respect, they're equivalent to what we've seen in prior major market crashes, whether it's October 08 or October 1987. In front of you now, you can see the Colvin model as low as it's ever been. We're also showing you the percentage of Western stocks above their 200 day moving average, essentially as low as it's ever been, or at least equivalent to what we saw in October 08 lows. And then finally, another technical model, which looks at 50 plus country equity indices, how overextended they are to the up or downside, aggregates that signal and then gives you a measure of where we are technically at the moment. As you can see, pretty much as low as it gets an equivalent to those major stock market crash, initial wave one panic lows. So the models are on side and the policymakers are acting rapidly and quickly and we're seeing a very aggressive response, all of which we've been detailing in the daily rag and of course in our other more medium term and longer term work. Clearly it's true there is a lot of stress in the financial system and you can see that in a variety of indicators but the policy response is aggressive and the pattern in crashes well established. For full detail on how we're playing today's markets please see today's daily rag available to subscribers and on the website. So what are we watching today? Well continuation of all those sort of factors we've been watching over the past few weeks. In particular we're focused on price action and financial stress in the system and we're also looking for what policymakers are getting up to. More announcements they're coming thick and fast. Over and above that key macro data today is very light and really not terribly relevant. That was your morning market hit. Please do subscribe on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and or Twitter. Thank you.